What if I told you, a single sound, just two letters long, could rewire your brain, calm your heart, and even connect you to the very vibration of the universe itself? This is not fantasy. This is the mystery of the um. most sacred syllable of Hinduism, Buddhism, and ancient yogic traditions. For thousands of years, sages sat in caves, temples, and forests, chanting Om um in deep meditation. They claimed it was not merely a sound, but the origin of creation, the vibration from which all existence flows. But here's the surprise, modern science is now uncovering astonishing truths about this ancient mantra. Brain scans, nerve studies, even cosmic frequencies, all point to something extraordinary hidden within this tiny syllable. So tonight, let's peel back the layers of history, science, and spirituality, and ask, is um the greatest hidden technology of the human mind, the vibrations of OM and the human brain? What if I told you? A single sound could tune your brain like a musical instrument? Yes, not a gadget, not a pill, but just the ancient sound um. When scientists at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, AMS, Delhi, placed meditators inside an fMRI machine and asked them to chant um, something extraordinary happened. Their brain activity patterns shifted dramatically. The regions linked to stress, fear, and anxiety, the amygdala and limbic system, became quieter. At the same time, areas related to focus, clarity, and emotional stability lit up. It was as if the brain entered a natural state of harmony, a rhythm modern psychiatrists say is almost impossible to achieve without medication. Ancient sages had no machines, no laboratories, yet they claimed thousands of years ago that OM is the primordial vibration of the universe, the sound that connects the human mind with cosmic consciousness. Today, science is slowly catching up. So the mystery begins. How could a syllable, just a sound, carry such power to reshape the human brain um. and the nervous system reset. Imagine this, you're surrounded by chaos, your heart racing, breath uneven, thoughts scattered. And then, just a slow, deep chant of um. suddenly, your body begins to shift, almost like someone flipped a hidden switch. In 2011, researchers at the National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Nimmons, Bangalore, discovered something astonishing. When volunteers chanted OM, their vagus nerve, the great reset button of the human body, was activated. This single nerve connects the brain to the heart, lungs, and gut, controlling stress, heartbeat, and even immunity. The results? Heart rate slowed, blood pressure stabilized, breathing became deeper, and the entire nervous system slipped into parasympathetic mode, the state of healing and restoration. Ancient yogis called this state, pratyahara, the withdrawal of senses, a way of turning inward to recharge. They believed OM was not just sound but a bridge between body and soul, a force that could harmonize the inner systems like tuning forks resonating together. So the mystery deepens, could it be that our ancestors unlocked a biological key, hidden in plain sound, that modern science is only beginning to decode? Um, and the sound of the universe. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine the birth of the universe, 13.8 billion years ago. A silence so vast, and then, a vibration. A cosmic hum. Modern astrophysicists call it the cosmic microwave background radiation, the faint echo of creation still vibrating across space. Now here's the mind-bending part, that vibration is not random noise. It is a frequency. And many scientists have noted that this universal hum resonates astonishingly close to the sound of OM. Ancient rishis, with no telescopes or satellites, declared thousands of years ago that OM is the Nada Brahma. The primordial sound, the essence of existence itself. They said, all creation begins with OM. Um. Fast forward to today, NASA recorded deep space sounds from the sun and planets. The frequencies? A deep, droning vibration, eerily similar to um. When we chant um, are we just calming our mind? Or are we aligning ourselves with the very heartbeat of the cosmos? The mystery is staggering, 
did the sages of India somehow hear the echo of the universe itself, long before science could prove it? Ah. Uh. And cellular healing. What if I told you, that a sound could reach into the very fabric of your body, into your cells, and begin healing them? In 2018, a group of researchers studying sound therapy found that certain frequencies can stimulate the release of nitric oxide in the body, a natural molecule that widens blood vessels, improves circulation, and even helps in fighting infections. Among these frequencies, the vibration closest to OM was found to be particularly powerful. When chanted properly, OM produces a frequency of around 136.1 Hz, the same frequency used in tuning the classical Indian tampera and astonishingly close to the Earth's own vibration. This resonance doesn't just stay in the throat or chest, it travels deeper, gently massaging internal organs and calming cellular stress. Ancient texts like the Mandukya Upanishad described um, as the sound that permeates every atom. Today, biophysicists speak of cells responding to vibrations, almost as if every cell has its own ear, waiting to listen. So the mystery stands, is um, not merely a chant, but a hidden medicine, an ancient sound therapy that modern science is only beginning to rediscover? Um, and altered states of consciousness. Picture this, a monk sits in silence, eyes closed, chanting um, minutes turn into hours, yet when he opens his eyes, he claims only a few breaths have passed. Time, seems to vanish. Modern neuroscience has a term for this, altered states of consciousness. When researchers placed long-term um, meditators under EEG scans, they observed something unbelievable, gamma brainwaves, the highest frequency linked to moments of expanded awareness, spiritual insight, and even mystical experiences. These are the same waves seen in Tibetan monks and master yogis during deep meditation. The Mandukya Upanishad describes OM as containing three states. Waking, dreaming, and deep sleep, and a fourth, called Turiya, the state beyond all states, pure awareness itself. Chanting OM, um, the sages said, could transport a seeker into this timeless dimension. For ordinary people, even a few minutes of chanting can create micro-glimpses of this transcendence, calmness so deep, awareness so sharp, that the boundaries of self feel like they dissolve. So the final mystery asks, is um, not just a sound, but a portal, a key to unlock dimensions of consciousness that lie hidden within us all? Final Thoughts, The Call of OM We began with a question, how can a simple sound change the human brain? Along the way, we uncovered mysteries, science proving that OM calms the mind, resets the nervous system, heals the body, and even echoes the vibration of the universe itself. What the sages declared thousands of years ago, laboratories are only now beginning to confirm. And yet, OM is not just about science or spirituality. It is about us. In a world filled with noise, chaos, and endless distractions, OM reminds us that peace is not out there, it is within. Each time we chant, we are not just making a sound, we are tuning ourselves back to the rhythm of existence. So the question remains, if a single syllable can unlock such hidden power, what else lies dormant within us, waiting to be awakened? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more inspiring content. See you in the next one.